Hey guys, can you hear me? Am I audible? Am I visible? Hello everyone. So, let's start today. This is an introductory class of Hare. Uh, the first class, the complete theory class will be starting tomorrow. So, this class I will be talking about what is Hare 2.0. What Hare 2.0 is something additional to offer than the usual Hare. And I know all your goals, right? This is what your goal. How many of you are from second year MBBS who are, who are sitting for the exam? Can you say yes in the comment box? Our goal has always been pass, pass, pass. Especially when you started the first, second year, it would have been a distinction honor. Slowly it will reduce to pass, right? So we all expect this and why not? Why not a distinction or honors? Let's aim for that also, right? So Farai is not just for people who wants to pass. Farai is definitely for us to revise whatever you already know. To make sure that we aim the highest level possibility and we make sure that we will be able to score the best in our exams fine okay okay jay Shri Ram. great so let's see what is what will be there in foray and i'll walk through you what is foray if you're first time here subscribe to the channel and we we'll learn more together right so foray 2.0 is something which is very unique to offer as used to the foray 1.0 because in the foray we had in the last session we learned that the, these are the needs of the student one of the biggest thing is, sir, I read Robbins, I am not able to complete. Sir, I read whatever notes it is, it's very voluminous, how do I write an exam? I know every content, how do I present an exam? I know what is leukemia, but there's a question, long answer, I am not able to solve that the answer is leukemia, right? These are the common mistakes or common problems which happens to a student, especially when they come close to the exam, right? So what will Farid 2.0 have is, good evening guys. So it will have the compiled list of professional exam papers and its answers. When there's a long answer, it will give you a clinical scenario. Below that, you will have the right answer and the way to write, right? We have close to 100 questions in each subject. So that will cover most of the things which is required for the pass. Let's say, let's take lung cancer. Lung cancer is definitely one of the potential long answers. So you'll have a history of lung cancer. Under that, there'll be a table which is sufficient enough to write the answer for lung cancer right if it's a long answer write to answer for it fine then i come sure spartan Pesla. okay we look at its side we look at its side soon okay and then how to answer a simple language the bigger problem is any book you take a very complicated language right how to break down in normal language what we know how to present them and we have introduced hand-drawn flowcharts as well because book is different when I have to write something from the book, I need to make sure that it's easy for me. So if it's a hand-drawn flowchart, it looks like your senior's notes, not like a textbook. So it's easy to reproduce as well. It looks like, you know, it's easy to reproduce, right? And in addition to the original foray, what we had, we are adding this as well, right? I'm sure this is in included in your uh, papers, AIDCOM and early clinical exposures. I'm sure it is included, right? So as per CBMA curriculum, AIDCOM has been divided for first year, second year, third year and final year based on the modules. There is definitely a five mark question which will come in every paper uh, based on the AIDCOM, right? So that also is covered here. It was very simple for you. Let's say that you sit through the lectures of Furay and last week you don't know what to do. Just go through the Furay, the soft copy which is in the app which is free for everyone. Download the app if you're not, it downloaded. And let's quickly go through it, right? Last day before the exam, don't know what to do. Just swipe. You're used to swiping, right? Swipe all the 100 questions, be ready, go write the exam. Like I said, this is not the goal. Let's aim for distinction on us this time, fine? Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. Hopefully, you guys will be able to do it perfectly, right? So, when it's starting, the first class of Farai will start tomorrow. Today is just an introductory session. If you have any doubts, do let me know here. I'll try to clarify it. It will happen every day at 7.30 p.m. It will happen in two places. One is the Medit app, other is the YouTube channel. Which of these two do you think you will prefer? Most of our students will think that let's go to YouTube channel. It's let's watch it, right? Medit app also, it'll be free only. Please download the app and watch it. I'll tell you the reason. One, distraction free. You'll watch on YouTube. There'll be an ad coming or there'll be suggested video. You'll go there, right? Hundred percent. I have done that. You have done that also, right? Okay. Second, Medit app will have the soft copy annotated note also, which we have, right? We you I use a lecture. I use a perfect template for you. In pathology that will be available in the app you listen to the lecture second time when you want to revise the day before the exam you need not go again and watch the lecture in 2x or 3x just revise the notes you'll be able to do that right third the soft copy of foray like i said the all five uh, hundred questions in each of the subjects aidcom and early clinical exposure all of them is available in the app so i'd say that is a very closed distraction free environment for the next 30 days 
have the app, listen to the lectures and definitely you'll be able to take care of it. I'll be taking pathology, Dr. Mamta will be taking for microbiology, Dr. Siraj will be taking for pharmacology, right? Okay. Uh, Srijan, too many classes these days, so I'm uh, just postponing RRR just for your senior's sake. Let's complete the foray and definitely revive RRR soon, fine? Anantakshan, you are asking about foray. I, if it's about foray, I would say need not write much. We will just listen the way to solve the question and it will be more of a workbook based. I'll tell you how I'll be going with foray with pathology. With micro and pharmacology, you can ask the respective teachers. For foray, I would say don't write. Listen to the lecture, understand, ask your doubts, solve the doubts then and there. And the soft copy, like I said, the annotated PDF will be there in the middle app, right? You can go through it, fine. Aniket, uh, you are going to sit for the exam next month or you are the fresh batch of second year. This is for your seniors who's going to sit for the exam this month or the next month, right? Even if you're not done any lectures till now, you must have read something, 100%. If not, definitely we'll give you the schedule the day in the morning time. Read that topic from whatever source you go with and then sit for the class. Let's revise. Let's tick every single day one one topic so it's done, right? So that's more than enough, Aniket, right? That, hopefully that should be more than enough for you to crack the exam. See, we'll have close to uh, 30, 35 hours of classes on this foray. And that will give you a compiled overview of whatever is required. And hopefully that will be able to clear your exam as well, fine? We'll take care of it, Aniket. Bharat, essentials batch, we have done the complete thing, right? Uh, the rapid revision for the essential batch is this one. Fare is kind of the rapid revision. RR is for your junior batch. We'll start from the first for them. This is for the batch who is sitting for the exam this month, right? So what you can expect in pathology for is, I have conducted a poll with you guys. Most of you said that systemic path is the difficult part, right? We will take care of the systemic path. I'll start from systemic path. I'll go to hemat. I'll also take care of your general pathology, right? I don't want to start again with necrosis apoptosis, which most of you already know, right? So I'll go with systemic path. Let's take care of the difficult problems and then let's go to the rest, right? I'll use a workbook and a template based. I'll tell you what does a template based mean, right? I need a little bit help for you to understand what does a template mean, right? Uh, let's say there's an any answer on or a long answer on, um, let's assume uh, GI, gastric carcinoma. How will you write it? Thank you, Alindia. How will you write it? There's a long answer on gastric carcinoma. Definitely, I'll have a template, right? So first, if it's a long answer, you'll have clinical history. So I would say the data or the history provided. So this has to be by default the first thing which will be there in any long answer. So I'm just taking the age, the symptomatology. Based on that, I create the first few lines. Same from the question itself. Then I write the probable diagnosis. If you cannot give a diagnosis, write differential diagnosis. Done. Then on top of that, you'll have two or three questions. Like it's a uh, carcinoma, gastric carcinoma question. That'll be write a short note on the pathogenesis, clinical symptoms, microscopy, gross, right? So let's assume the same gastric carcinoma or any cancer for the matter. I will have clinical features. You will have something with the etiology plus pathogenesis. If we can extrapolate that, then you'll have the same gross and microscopy. This is how it is, right? If I want to get the distinction on us, add two more pointers of maybe markers, prognosis, right? So already I have, can I write the same template for any cancer in the body? Every cancer will fit into it. Etiopathogenesis, gross, microscopy, markers, prognosis. Yes or no? Undoubtedly yes. Perfect, right? Now I'm just going to ask you a simple question. Even if you're not completed pathology, answer this. Can I say gross appearance of any carcinoma? I'll have a swelling. Is that statement right? It is. Can I add if it's a gastric carcinoma, ulcero proliferative swelling? Yes. If it's a cancer, is there a possibility of necrosis or cell death? Definitely yes, right? So already I, I know few templates, right? So this is a template for every cancer. You can write ulcero proliferative lesion with necrosis, gross area of hemorrhage is there. Microscopy for every carcinoma. Can I say there'll be basement membrane invasion? You can. Pleomorphism, high NC ratio, mitosis, loss of polarity. You can, right? So already have a template. If it's an adenocarcinoma, I add gland to it. That's all. Gland, pleomorphic cells, dysplastic cells, breaching the basement membrane, carcinoma, adenocarcinoma. That's all, right? So I have a template. So once you know the template, it's very, very, very simple to write any carcinoma diagnosis, right? The only difficult part is 
how do i come to this this we'll see minimum 100 case of pathology if you have any of the question paper with you share it with me let's learn let's revise let's get it done with right it's not difficult when you have a focus thing for i will be there till the december 3rd okay uh, so you have close to like i said 35 40 hours of classes that should be enough if you're serious and if you want to clear the second year exam please pick up your friend who's with you in the hostel or if you're a day scholar just pick up a random friend both of you watch it both of you discuss it make a timetable every day the class will be on 7 30 pm so what i want you to do in the morning is again the most important thing is you need a company get a friend who's there like you not like you make them sit with the same timetable as for a of uh, 2.0 with my dad morning read morning discuss evening come complete the revision again the next day morning read morning discuss evening come complete the discussion right so let's assume that the class gets over by 9 30 or 9 after before sleeping again just a quick revision in the metadata the annotated notes compiled completed right if you can do this for the next month i can guarantee you we'll be able to clear the second year exam right that is on pathology second year exam clearing is on me i'm sure dr mamtan uh, dr sarat sir also can take it of that right in addition to this after your exams get over i'll also have practical classes separately which also will be ferry 2.0 that also will be taken care of be it in gross be it a microscopy be it instruments pathology practicals i'll definitely be able to take care of it fine okay any doubt guys if you have yet not downloaded the method app and seen the for 2.0 just go and have a look at it and any suggestions any opinions we are open to discussion right so any doubts do let me know if not let's start it let's kick start it tomorrow uh, by 7 30 i think dr srat sir will uh, come live and we'll kick start the discussions Aniket, no, as of now, it is not a good idea. Okay. Ananta Krishnan, yes, I know. Uh, maybe last couple of the classes you'll miss. We'll give you the timetable. The last couple of the classes, try to do a little bit early so that you don't miss on anything. Fine. I think the till if December 3rd is the exam, till November 30th, attend the foray. Last two days, try to revise whatever is the first day of the exam. okay any other routes any other queries do let me know hush in the last one month if you can cover 100 questions of pathology microbiology and pharmacology that's what best you can do right so sit through the 40 hours of content read the 100 questions of every subject which is there in the fari app that's the best you can do the last month without panicking right without panicking that can be done okay and again even if it's jan i would say it's a little bit difficult for you to complete the entire systemic pathology go with selective things if you don't understand something go in depth go with robins and then the rest uh, take care of this fine okay guys any other doubts do let me know Like I had initiated the discussion a couple of days back with renal path, I will continue the renal path discussion in the WhatsApp group and also in the Instagram channel. Let's try to complete it. Pathology, it's with me, right? Uh, I will make sure that you you guys will ace the pathology exams. The rest of it, like I said, the other teachers will be more than happy to take care of the same way, fine? Okay, Shri Maha. It's, it's very diverse. That's why we are kept in the same. Some universities have December, some universities have Jan. So we have started from November. The entire month of November will have Fare. Tahir, the timing will be 7.30 p.m. This will be timing. Spartan, let's start today, no? Why to delay it? I am 100% sure this is a good thing, right? That should be enough, right? So from today, make sure that you do it every single day so that you don't have a problem. Fine, let's start today. That's all. Unicorn, that's a bit early. Generally, the NMC guideline is to start from the second week of December. That's why we put this to it. So if it's 22nd of November, maybe till the November middle, go for it, whatever happens. And after that, all the best for exams. I'm sure you'll uh, do the best, right? Uncertain medical. Okay. You'll definitely be able to take care of it. Okay, guys. Kya chahiye Ankit Hindi se Hindi mein? 
आप बोलिए मैं मैं उस रिपीट कर सकता हूँ ठीक है मेरे दिमाग थोड़ा स्लो है हिंदी से दैट्स वाई आई हैव अ ब्रेक इन द फ्लो सो थोड़ा इंग्लिश में बात कर दीजिए ठीक है आई डेफिनेटली डू श्री महा एंजल टुमारो टॉपिक विल बी ऑन जनरल फार्माकोलॉजी इन फार्माकोलॉजी या कंट या फॉर श्योर आने के तहत स्पीक हिंदी द प्रॉब्लम है ना हिंदी के फ्लो अच्छा नहीं है फ्लो अच्छा नहीं है वो कॉन्सेप्ट की फ्लो अच्छा नहीं है थोड़ा ब्रेक कर दिया इसलिए मैं अंग्रेजी बोल सकता हूँ ठीक है मे बी इन फ्यूचर टीच मी हिंदी अनिकेत लेट्स स्पीक इन हिंदी फॉर डेफिनेटली बेटर स्पार्टन इट द टाइम टेबल विल बी देयर इन दी मेडेड एप वी विल हैव अ सेपरेट थिंग कॉलेज फॉर ए इट विल बी पोस्टेड देयर लाइक यू एसेंशियल बैच यू हैव द टाइम टेबल देयर फाइन द पाथ टेकन प्री प्रॉप्स नो प्री प्रॉप्स इन 13 नवंबर गो हेड विद द प्री प्रॉप्स पाथ टेकन कंटिन्यू द फॉर ए ignore the pre profs that's not the deciding factor let's improve in the prof maybe show a drastic improvement from the pre prof to the main exams right i think that should be more than enough okay this is what we can do best in the available time so let's do that let's do that and make sure it happens shivani notes uh, shivani the fare soft copy is already on the app which is available to everyone who is using the app that will be there in the app you can do it fine okay so whatever classes we take i will share the uh, workbook and the template thing with you in the instagram and the telegram groups so you take care of that after the class is over the annotated pdf will also be in the metadata right so this is already there this is already there in the app you can download it and you can start reading it any time great nigger fine guys if no doubts let's call it a day and let's make sure that uh, december we will uh, complete the exam and jan will have a happy time fine thank you guys thank you see you see you soon bye bye